Yes. Uh, first, let us uh, discuss a question. Accordingly, we'll be doing it. The question is, let you Riva have got invitation from your cousin Rahul to the birthday celebration of your uncle write a reply or send a suitable reply so when i'm asking you to send a suitable reply to some invitation so here your choice is that you can uh, reply uh, in accepting the invitation or you can decline the invitation both okay if you are going that also you can write if you are not going that also you can write you have a you have a choice right so but in case you are asked like write a reply uh, uh, telling your cousin that you will not be able to come because of some prior engagement then you will have to write that only or you, if you are asked to write like write a reply telling that you will be there then you will be writing a reply accordingly. So right now we'll discuss both kinds. Uh, let, when, when we are going to attend the function, then it becomes all the more important to send a reply that we are coming so that the arrangements are made accordingly. Okay, if there is a party for 100 people, if, uh, if I am uh, hosting a party for 50 people, if I've invited 50 people, then I would be expecting the 50 people to tell me whether they are coming or not. Suppose 40 people are coming, 10 are not coming, then my arrangements will be for 40 people. If 45 are coming, then my arrangements will be for 45 people. That is to avoid any sort of wastage. Okay, it's uh, like, let's not like believe in the kinds of weddings where there is a so, where there is so much of wastage. After the party is over, then the wastage is there, then those things are left to rot. So those kinds of things should be avoided. Okay, so first you, Riva, have got invitation from your cousin Rahul to the birthday celebration of your uncle. Write a reply. So first of all, let us see from the question, like what kind of uh, uh, invite, uh, what kind of reply it is going to be, formal or informal? Yeah. In this particular question, what do you think? What do you think? Will it be a formal reply or informal reply? Informal, because you are going to reply to your cousin. Okay, the relation is informal. Okay, so when you have got an informal relation and informal event, so we can give answer, we can reply in an informal way. Okay, and informal way can be in the form of a letter also, that is better. And formal reply also I'll tell you later on. First, let us focus on how to send an informal reply. Okay, so the question is clear. Now can I rub it so that I can have a space for writing my reply? So when you're going to reply in, in an informal manner, it will be a letter format on the top your address. So if no address was given, then we can simply write examination hall. It's your address, sender's address, I mean. After sender's address, we would write the date, then salutation, dear Rahul. So the first line will be, when we write a reply, the first line as format, it will be acknowledge, acknowledge the invitation first. Got it? When we are going to reply for the invitation, first of all, mention that we have got the invitation for this event, which will be scheduled on this date at this time. Come to the side, Diksha. 
you can also come here for a better view of the blackboard so first of all, so first of all acknowledge the invitation uh, so what what we will write here uh, i'm glad to know i'm glad i'll tell you i'm glad to receive the invitation to our to our uncles to my uncles because it's your uncle not his to my uncles birthday on whatever the date you mention this so on 20 feb 2020 at 4 pm at dolphin hotel what it so the first line is all about the uh, acknowledging the invitation we have mentioned like i'm very happy that uh, you have invited me to this event which is on this date at this time and at this place point is not whether you are going there or not point is like first line is to be about acknowledgement in a reply is that clear so now we are to come to the point like whether i am going there or not it would be a real fun being there but due to prior engagement due to my previous due to some other commitment i will not be able to i won't be able to be there i won't be able to make it out there but due to you can mention the reason also over here because it is informal uncle and your cousin are there very close to you you can tell the exact reason also due to my pre board exams i won't be able to reach there on that day okay due to uh, due to uh, whatever the other reason due to granny's Huh? it would be so it would be a real fun being there but due to whatever the reason you can mention okay due to my previous engagement due to my prior engagement or due to my prior commitment i won't be able to make it to there so not able to so this is like when you are not going to be there so when you are when you will not be able to go there but my best wishes to uncle and i but my best wishes are with you and i wish him a very happy birthday in advance will be there some other time your cousin your name and all okay so convey best wishes for the event after the best wishes you can conclude uh, will be there very soon looking forward to a uh, meeting in the coming time you all your cousin and your name there okay did you people notice one thing that though it was a letter but we did not talk about anything else except the event that will make it an invitation otherwise it will become a letter and we don't have to write a letter the moment it will become a letter your marks will be deducted the format is like that of a letter but inside we are basically talking about only the event invitation and whether we are coming or going and best wishes in the end it's only about the event nothing else ha because due to a prior engagement i won't be able to be there but my best wishes are with you and i wish uncle a very very happy birthday in advance uske baad look uh, looking forward to a meeting we'll see you very soon we will we'll see you after my exams are over something like this because it is informal 
with love your cousin and then whatever the name riva so this was when you are not going but in case you are going what will you do the first line will remain as it is i'm glad to receive invitation to my uncle's birthday on this date at this time at this place so first line will remain as such and then uh, it it is something i've been uh, eagerly waiting for i've always been looking forward to see you and this is perhaps the best time for for our meeting for this meeting so i'll be there on that date with my family or i'll be there on that date with you looking forward to a happy time together your cousin your name right so when you are going then what would you say like uh, i've always been looking forward to a to a meeting with you and this is perhaps the best time we can have a we can have a get together i'll be there on that date at 9 am or at 4 pm you can also mention the time by which time we'll be reaching there so see you very soon your cousin your riva is this clear those who are online yes any doubt those who are online here okay now let us to another kind of uh, reply so this was one question where it was informal but now i'll i will be giving you one more question and you people first to decide whether this question will be uh, formal or informal okay now right you are rahul verma you have been invited by you are rahul verma you have been invited by your colleague you are rahul verma you have been invited by your colleague subhash aroda you have been invited by your colleague subhash aroda to a dinner to a dinner comma he is hosting to a dinner he is hosting to celebrate his promotion so you are rahul invited by subhash to a dinner he is hosting to celebrate his promotion now write a suitable reply now write a suitable reply now again i'm giving you the option either you go or you don't go whatever but write a reply you can decide inside like whether you want to go there or not but before we start writing the reply to the invitation first question which we should have in our mind is whether i'm going to write a formal reply or an informal one it will be what kind of reply children online students can also answer me now you can answer in chat yes what kind of reply it will be formal or informal saksham okay formal because colleague still it's a formal relation with the colleagues with the colleagues we don't become very friendly okay don't tell me like uh, yeah don't tell me like uh, yes we have we happen to be very good friends it may be but we have to uh, deem it to be a formal relation okay formally we have to take it that it is a formal relation with the colleagues in the end of the day the colleagues might become very good friends but that is a different thing but colleagues should be formal okay 
Yes, sir. Formal. Yes, correct answer. Formal children. So we'll be dealing with this question in a formal manner. So when we are writing a formal reply, we don't have to follow the letter format. We have to write the. We have to follow a note format. Format of the note. Okay, note where they, we don't have to write like address and all. We'll be writing the format of a note, and uh, plus it will be in third person. Remember these two words. So in the formal reply, is to be in a format of note in third person. Remember these two words; you will never forget. And now I'm going to see tell you like what we are going to write. So who is the recipient? Rahul. Rahul got invitation from Subhash. You know. So now Rahul will decide whether he is going or not. So let us first see that he is not going. So Rahul Verma, thank Mr. Subhash. What was his surname? Sharma for the invitation to the dinner to the dinner on at seven PM. At his residence, fifty-five JP Nagar, Jalandhar. This is the first line about the acknowledgement. Same way, acknowledge the invitation. Like Rahul Verma is instead of saying I thank you, write the name of I. Rahul Verma thank Mr. जो भी है फॉर दी फॉर वट फॉर दी इन्विटेशन वेन ऑन दिस डेट एट दिस टाइम एट दिस प्लेस तो वेन थ्री ऑफ द पॉइंट आर रिटर्न देन यू गेट वन मार्क एट लीस्ट फॉर राइटिंग द इन्विटेशन सो दिस इज एक्नोलेजमेंट नाउ वी हैव टू कम टू दॉइंट वेदर राहुल इज गोइंग देयर और नॉट ओके इट्स an honor being there yeah but due to prior uh, prior commitments or engagement anything rahul will not be able to rahul will not be able to make it up okay rahul will not be able to attend the dinner rahul will not be able to reach up okay so but his best wishes are with the family yeah but his best wishes are with the family then afterwards uh, you will just sign rahul you can you don't even have to sign us that's it okay so and you have to outline this write whole thing in the outline yeah it doesn't sound to some children don't find it very interesting but it is so okay but in case you are going so what will you say it is an honor being there and and rahul will be there at sharp 6:30 pm or 7 pm looking forward to a great time together that's it got it so this is the reply in third person and that is a formal reply yes the students who are online have they got it okay any doubt here 
Manvya, Shitaj, Ishpuneet, Avi, Sia, Gunjo. Any doubt here? Only Tanveen and Charanjot seem to be attentive. Okay, Avi is also now answering. Gunjot and Sia, no answer from your side. Please note down the for the things because one one you know reply one kind of con content will equip you to handle any sort of uh, you know uh, reply to invitation. Now write next question that we will be writing on your own later on. The question is. Uh, you are Subhash Verma, the head of department, you are Subhash Verma, the head of department of music from DAV College, Ludhiana. Okay, you are uh, Subhash Verma. You are Subhash Verma, the head of department of music from DAV College, Ludhiana. You have been invited as the you have been invited as a judge for a you have been invited as a judge for a musical show held in abc public school so draft a suitable reply so you have been invited to be the judge for some musical show at abc public school so as Subhash Verma, you reply or send a reply to ABC Public School, either declining the invitation or accepting the invitation. So the point is that you'll be writing the invitation in both ways. DAV hmm? uh, College Lubhya. So I'm repeating as Subhash Verma, you have been invited to judge to be the judge of a musical show to be held at abc public school ludhiana so send a suitable reply accepting or declining the invitation so you, i'll give you three to four minutes you write the reply come on because when you will reply only then you'll come to know the kinds of difficulties you come across Uh, yes, children. Uh, now let's see how to write this kind of invitation. So what you would be writing, first of all, you'll be outlining the page, then inside you would be just writing, like Subhash Verma feels honored to be invited as the judge for the musical show to be held at ABC Public School on dash date at this time, at this place. It, it would have been an honor to be there but due to a prior engagement, uh, Subhash Verma feels uh, will not be able to reach there, but conveys his best wishes for the event. That's it. Was that okay, children? Did you write something like this? Did you write something like this or not? Okay, uh, for your kind information, your revision test for revision test. You people's revision tests are not uh, going to be held, but yes, your exams are going to start from 28th of Feb, pre board. So, those who want to do well in pre boards, please come to school and uh, try to get out all your doubts. Okay, only then you'll be able to do something worthwhile in English. Okay, otherwise, attend your classes regularly if they are online. Thank mm -hmm. you.